Okay, so as you're working on this with Wadlow, make sure you look at his height. So here we are. At age five, he was, uh, see, as tall as most of you. Age eight, age 13, and up there by the bird butt, you'll see a red line. That's how tall he was when he died, uh, tragically, of that foot infection. So just to get an appreciation for how tall this guy was, you might want to take a look. All right, now that we know a little bit about extrapolation, let's go ahead and do this so you know how to predict the future or future trends using graphing. Each of you will get one of these papers with the data about Robert Wadlow. Make sure you put your name on it and your period number. Step one says make a line graph showing the growth of Robert Wadlow. Look at the line graph on the cork strip. That will give you an idea of how to set things up. Please make sure that even though there is no data for some of his ages, like 2, 3, 4, 6, and 7, they just didn't bother to measure him, we still must include those numbers on the x-axis. But we will just jump from the known data. So age 1, they had a measurement. Age 4, they had a measurement or age five they had a measurement and they didn't know that. So make sure you include those, you can't skip those numbers. Step two, it says using the last five data points, draw an extrapolation line and predict how tall he would have been if he had lived to age 25. So what you need to do then is you need to lay your ruler on those last couple of points, just in case they good. So you project and say, okay, how do I get the last five points covered the best, and you lay it on like that. Then you project the line up, up and away, and now you can predict if he hadn't have died of that infection that he got in his foot, we can project at his present rate of growth prior to his death uh, how tall he would have been. So you're asked to predict how tall he would have been at age 25. So please remember, you just very simply would go to 25. You would draw the line up until it strikes your extrapolation line. So there we draw the line up until it hits the projected extrapolation line. Then we draw the line over. And then you estimate, so we draw the line over, and then you estimate how tall he would have been in inches. You will then write that height in here, and then what you need to do is take your paper with the predicted height, staple it to your graph, which should have all the parts of the graph, title units, labels, and the extrapolation line drawn like that, and turn that in. And now, ladies and gentlemen, you know how to predict the future.